city has plenty to crow about. People having a good time, just doing their thing. A place seeped in history. Classic, historic, fun. Where the coffee is strong. I like coming here for the food and meeting people. <laughs> and the smell of freshly rolled cigars fills the air. But perhaps nothing is more of an institution here than the Cuban sandwich. Buen proveche. But a well-made Cuban sandwich is one of the nicest things, one of the most delicious things that you can eat in Tampa. It's a taste of Tampa's history, shared at places like the Ybor City Museum State Park. Chantal Havia, president of the Museum Society, says according to local lore, the Cuban was created here to satisfy the appetites of cigar factory workers logging long hours. It was an easy way for them to get lunch. It was substantial, but it didn't necessarily put them to sleep. We start with our ham. However, which we when it comes now. to verifying the sandwich's roots, Present things it. get a Very little dicey. This is purely conjecture on my part, but who would have thought to document the history of a sandwich? And so it's word of mouth, and depending on who you are and what you've heard, there's a different story to tell. The Cuban is definitely part of the story and part of the menu since day one at Florida's oldest restaurant, the Columbia. We start with Cuban bread. For fifth generation owner operator Andrea Gonsmart Williams, it's practically part of her DNA. I definitely grew up eating Cuban sandwiches. My little girl has grown up eating Cuban sandwiches. Andrea likes to think of the sandwich as a mix of the immigrants who contributed to building the city. Obviously the Cuban bread being the Cubans, the ham being the Spaniards, the pork being the Cubans once again, the salami being the Italians, and then the yellow mustard and the pickles being the Germans. And then I like to say that the Swiss cheese kind of represents Ybor City, which was the melting pot that brought all these different cultures together. Just like As for any food feud about where the Cuban got its start. I think if another city tried to state claim on the Cuban sandwich, I would ask them to have their 100-year-old restaurant, give my 100-year-old restaurant a call, and we could talk about it. One thing is for sure, among the pork and pickles, the Cuban sandwich feeds community pride. What a wonderful thing that on a national scale we can be recognized for this because it tastes good. <laughs> In Ybor City, Lori Davison, Spectrum Bay News 9.